after you determine where you want to start your floor, the first thing you're going to want to do is by the wall is you're going to want to pre-drill so that you can hand nail your first row of boards in. So to do this, within three inches of the end of the board, you want to pre-drill on the face of the board. In the back third of that face of the board. The next, the next spot you want to drill is approximately eight inches. And this time we're going to blind drill it into the top. And then alternating throughout the length of the run. My next spot. Let's cut some of that out. Then after I drill that hole, my next one will be in the tongue. And then in the face. On pre-finished material, you want to make sure you use a nail set so you don't damage the finish of the floor. Drive in the face nails first, and it makes it easier to drive the blind nails after you come back. Get your starting run of boards uh, hand nailed in. Now you want to come back and you want to pre rack your floor. So, in essence, you want to take your material, get it out of the box, and start to assemble the runs and make your cuts as necessary. It's very important that as you're racking your floor up, you don't want to have end joints that line up with each other, and you don't want to have end joints that fall like this, which is what they call an H joint. So you're going to go through, rack all your floor out. Push it back approximately six, inch, six to eight inches away from your starting row. So that way you have room to pull your boards in and then nail them up. When nailing, you know, the National Wood Floor Association suggests that on flooring up to three inch, you use a nailing schedule of eight to ten inches. That means each nail should be approximately 8 to 10 inches apart and there should be one cleat within 3 inches of the end of each board. Any material 3 and a quarter and up, you want to use a nailing schedule of every 6 to 8 inches with one nail within 3 inches of the, each end of the board.